So Darius's foster care adventure is, it's a hard one. And if you're like me, you've probably been online looking for different resources to use with kids in foster care, guardianship, adoption, kid just left with grandma and mom never came back for him. I mean, all sorts of different situations. And there's not very many resources out there. And you know what? The reason why is it's hard. Every situation is so unique and different. Every kid is so unique and different that this is, you know, it's a story and it's Darius's story. And I think that that's one of the reasons why I think that this one might really work because um, it's not necessarily another child's story, you know? And so kids can kind of compare and contrast. And that's one of the things that the cards of this one does is how is your story similar to Darius? How is your story different from Darius? And um, so it starts out where he is driving away with the social worker. He know all he knows is that his parents got in trouble and he's gonna have to go stay somewhere else for a little while. And he doesn't know the people that he's gonna be staying with. And so he shows up at the house and he's terrified. He's like, who are these people? What's gonna happen to me here? I don't know what's going on. And so he is worried when he meets them, but he quickly discovers they're a very nice family. And he's like, whoa, I get my own room. This might not be so bad. And then he realizes how much he loves having siblings to play with. And he really enjoys the family, but he has lots of different emotions. And so this talks about several of the different emotions that he's going through. And, um, and then eventually he really, he really starts to feel like he's part of their family. I mean, it's been a long time. Mom and dad haven't, he hasn't heard from him. He doesn't know what's going on. And so he, he starts to feel at home and he starts to feel connected with his foster family. And he doesn't know if it's going to be his forever home or not. And, um, but then he starts to feel guilty. Like, you know, if I start calling them mom and dad, am I betraying my mom and dad? And so he has, you know, this conflicting identity stuff going on. And so he, he misses them. You know, he's thinking about home, what things were like whenever he was with his mom and dad. And he has days where he is just really sad. So he goes and he talks to his foster mom about it. And, and he's, he's like, you know, I just have all these mix, mixed up feelings. And she validates him. And she's like, you know what? We don't want to replace your mom and dad. We just want to be here for you. As long as you're here, you're going to be part of our family. And you're forever going to be in our hearts, no matter what happens. And so she tells him, how about you make a memory box? And you put your favorite memories in the box of, you know, his school papers that he makes at school. Um, if he wants to write a letter to his parents about the different things that he's done throughout his day, or even to ask questions like, what are you doing right now? I, you know, I don't know what's happening in your life. These are the questions that I have. And um, memories that he doesn't want to forget. That's a very important one for a memory box because kids a lot of times will worry about forgetting those happy memories that they've made with their parents. And so, um, and, and for grief, you know, their, you know, grandma died and they're afraid that they're gonna forget who she is. So a memory box is really powerful for that. Um, so he builds the memory box and he knows that it's his forever, no matter what. And then at the end, he realizes, you know, I'm not sure where I belong, but I'm happy in the waiting because now I know I've got, my mom and dad still love me. I'm, I'm sure of that. And I don't know where I'm going to be long term, but I'm I'm very loved. I'm loved by my foster family, and I'm loved by my parents. And so um, it's purposely a cliffhanger because you know some kids do get to go home to their mom and dad, and some kids don't. And some kids that that I've done this with, um, they don't like that it's a cliffhanger because it's almost like they want to know the end of the story so that they'll know what the end of their story is, and then. I don't know what the end of their story is going to be. And, and so I think that having it as a cliffhanger, the kid gets to write their own story in, is one aspect of it, but also, you know, that we don't want to project anything. So, um, so then we have cards that, that talk about all the different aspects of, um, of these situations. And, you know, I use the word caretaker in here because I mean, it might be a foster family. It might be grandma. It might be aunts and uncles. It might be the neighbors down the street. I mean, Kids can end up anywhere whenever their parents are unavailable for them. And sometimes it's a short little stay and they know their parents are coming right back. And then other times um, they never do come back. So, and another thing that makes it really um, difficult working on something like this is that kids are at all different levels with their identity of where they belong. 
so a kid that has been adopted might have already gone through that whole identity shift of this is my old, my family of birth and I loved them for a se- you know I still love them but you know I was with them for a season but now my adopted family is my forever home and that's where I belong and um, other kids are kind of like you know I don't belong here I'm sitting in a stranger's house and I want to go home so this is hard stuff I mean, every kid's different. Every story's different. And the cards really address that, that, um, you know, there's, there's all different places that kids could live and it's for all different timeframes and, um, reasons of why they might be there. And so, so the cards address that. And then, you know, like what is something that's comforting would be the teddy bear ones. Um, do you have a toy that you brought from home that reminds you of home? Um, things like that. And then, If you had to pack everything in a bag, what would you take? What would it be like to pack up your whole life into a bag and knowing that that's all you've got from from where you came from? Um, And then, so this house is about like the foster home of, you know, how is it different from the house that, that you came from? And so, I mean, things to talk about with kids would be, you know, there's different values that um, a foster family might have compared to the, um, their biological parents. There's probably different family traditions. There's different expectations, different discipline, different way of talking, different ways of dealing with emotion. Everything can be different. And so it gives them an outlet to really talk through a lot of those things. And so here is the game board. So, um, this one, it, it is going to provide an opportunity for them to talk about all sorts of things. And some of it might be easy. Some of it might be really hard. Um, but ultimately, the goal is healing and, um, you know, taking this one layer at a time because um, these foster care and adoption, guardianship, whatever you call them, those situations are hard. And um, they, they leave a lingering effect on kids. And so this is just a tool to help through the journey. And I hope that it comes in handy. And I'm glad we finally have a resource for it because there's not much out there other than I do have the journey to my new family game, which is also helpful too. Thanks.